What's up fellow Sam Jammers and a warm welcome to everybody who's not subscribed and notified to this channel. On this channel we inform, educate and inspire and in this video we're going to be talking about what it is to be a visionary. Google defines it as somebody with original ideas about the future. Now I'm going to take you with me today to feature our special guest, the second YouTuber out of the 21 I plan to promote on my channel in this month, Vader, a vlog every day in April. So I'm going to ask you right now if you can just close your eyes and vision with me. I'm in Cresta to meet Brett. Now let's close our eyes. And we're at Cresta. Maybe not the most original vision, but the things that we're going to discuss here are definitely going to be visionary. Let's go talk to Brett. And here Brett is. Brett, can you tell us what you think a visionary is and why they're important? A visionary for me is, is quite simple. It's somebody that casts vision. It's somebody that gives, gives direction. Um, it's somebody that necessarily has the idea but needs to lay it out for everyone else to understand. And why I feel it's, feel it's important for visionaries is because they are the ones that, that generally have the ideas. Um, a lot of us want to do, do great things, we want to go in certain directions, but a lot of the time we struggle with how to actually go or what the plan is. And visionaries are very good with, with knowing what the plan is, setting out the plan, and then casting the direction in terms of how to achieve that plan. So it's, it's, it's a very big, big, big uh, role that, that, that they do play. And I definitely think that we do need a lot more of them within the society that we do live in, um, especially if we wanted to grow as, as individuals and as a society. So visionaries definitely have a place, very important um, to have within your sphere. And I definitely think that they, they are the types of people you want to be around because it's, it's easier to move forward with a visionary than what it is to, to move forward with somebody that, that doesn't have vision. Mm. So yeah, that's, that's my two points. Thank you so much for that, Brett. Go subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description below. And we're back here in the group. Now, I want to just talk to you quickly about an example of a visionary leader and the pros and cons of visionary leadership. Apple is an example of a company that was made to be what it is because of a visionary leader. And that is Steve Jobs. For an example, he saw something that didn't yet exist. When the people first brought him a prototype of one of the iPods, he took it and threw it into a fish tank and bubbles came out of it. He told them, come back with another prototype where there are no bubbles. So he foresaw an iPod that was so compact that there was no space in it for air. Now, in today's time, we have visionaries of all sorts. Me, for example, I see a vision of a unified South Africa, which might be a bit elusive. It's not something that is a reality right now, but I see it and I work towards it in the YouTube community and last year when I was involved in the church, making a way for there to be unity amongst the Christian societies on campus. Now, what are the pros of visionary leadership? I'd say number one is that you help see, you help people see the end goal. You encourage them and you inspire them by your vision and it makes them more willing to pursue the goal. What are the cons of visionary leadership? Well, visionaries would rather create than perform. They don't want to be told what to do. They want to create new things. They want to, a chance to use their vision. Also, they can be quite hard-headed. I'm talking from experience. When you have a vision for something, you might get a lot of resistance from people who don't necessarily see it the same way you do and who don't believe that it's a possibility. So being a visionary, you do need to be some sort of stubborn, but I would also say being a visionary, you should have people in your life who you respect and look up to whose opinions you can take into consideration when you bounce your ideas off of them. People with level head. So that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed day three of Veda, a vlog every day in April. Please do hit the like button, subscribe down over there, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Until then, Sam Jammer out.
Yeah, I need to learn how to click with my left hand.